TD side. Did infamous girls choose to start on T side, Austin? Yeah, that's a very interesting okay. choice. And yeah, Inferno is a little more T side of these days, but I almost feel like you want to start on that CT side unless they like the idea of change, setting the pace early. That's the thing. The T side allows you to set the pace. If you can break through that wall, the Mita with the dual Berettas are retreating back through apartments. The only player on A, actually, I didn't even notice that until right now. There's four players stacking towards B, expecting to be hit. And with the bomb going down, a 5v5 retake, this is going to be utter chaos. The A side is such a hard side to retake in general. And with five players to find, there's so many different angles at least they don't have to worry about apartments that's one major angle that is not occupied but the site angles are so plentiful there's going to be trades back and forth cat needs this kill uh -oh. to reload a team kill but it might not matter the last two are in big pit andrea running around has one doesn't spot the second up coming up through graveyard by the they're to sticking kill. the He's defusal sticking. they're holding there's nobody angles there's no angles there's no kick it's a 10 second ninja got to escapes but not with her life and well Two will stay alive after that chaotic retake. And infamous girls are unlucky to not have a win. That was not a good spot to plant the bomb, given the positioning of the infamous girls. You should not have two players left in pit with zero visibility on the bomb. It just, it's never going to end well. And Osadia just decided to go for it and stick the defusal, given the information they gained. And it was the right call. So one to nothing for Osadia. And they are going to get three MP9s, the FAMAS and the Scout. But, of course, Infamous Girls with that bomb plant get the additional $800 in their bank account. And will be a pretty decent buy with three Galils. Unfortunately, that one Galil in Lower's hands doesn't make much of a difference. Because Badadia had the edge with the MP9 as Lower was trying to sneak in from window room. So, quick advantage here for Osadia. For Buha. Peering around back and forth. Just jiggle peeking this corner towards Banana. Wants to get the information. And I do like the crossfire they have set up here with the scout in uh, Namita's hands, waiting on the right side of new box. One minute on the clock, and infamous girls appear content to back off here from Banana. Even though they gained the space, I think they should leave at least one player there for rotations. And yeah, it is going to be Andrea. But uh, that's the Galil. You kind of want that Galil to be pushing on forward with the rest of the team. Jen is going to get Kath, and that makes it a 5v3. Infamous girls are too spread out right now, and they might be going in uh, a little too disjointed for this execute. Yeah, I think that's a bit of an issue there, especially sending the Galil solo through halls. It gets mowed down by Jen playing up close and personal with an MP9. And now there's even more MP9 action potentially to come here, whether the uh, sitting up close towards middle. Pop out boiler first. It's the bomb to go first. And that will be two kills for Kato. Oh, Suka makes it out of apartments and mows down one nick at two. Brings it to a 2v2, no but the time, there's no time. It's impossible to plant here. And it will be a second on the board for Osadia. And surely they will realize that there is no time. There is no reason to go for that kill until after the clock. Namita knocked down off the balcony. Will stay alive, though. At least for Asuka, the Galil is in hand, but that's going to ruin the economy of infamous girls, something they are very conscious of. And for Osadia... They countered the force by they countered that T side bomb plant force. And that is always a win in and of itself. Yeah, I mean, uh, good job by Osadia shutting down infamous girls when they were trying to go for their execute towards the A side. I mean, I like that Asuka managed to get a couple of frags, but because infamous girls were so destroyed and getting together um, for that execute, I mean, they just couldn't get there with enough time to do much of anything because once they were moving on forward to the A site, only 22 seconds left, even though Asuka gets a nice play, uh, she just can't get back to the site and plant the bomb. Anyway, Infamous Girls will manage to get one here against Vadadia, but the first two went to Osadia, as you would expect, up against the pistol and Burbuja. Just so much confidence along with Jen charging down alt mid. They get two more, leaving only Asuka standing, who's been doing most of the fragging work here for her squad in the early goings, but will eventually go down to Kato and Osadia win their round there with only the MP9s and the FAMASs. And it will be a bonus round here. Jen and Namita should be able to buy up an A1S and an off, but everyone else sticking with what they've got. 
Yeah, I will like to see Namita take some aggressive angles with this op, though. It, you can take that mid peak and take the halls peak, the bedroom peak, the B peak. There's so many different spots you can go with the op. She's going to go towards banana first and foremost here. Will not get anything off of the rip here. Might even just book it straight back to A. No, it'll actually be Kato to be the rotator out towards A. And they might even leave the op to solo. Burbuha gets mowed down, as does Jen Lower coming up with a big 2k. That's a good opportunity there for infamous girls to build off of here as they get guns in their hands for the first time. Full AKs. And a two-player advantage. That's a huge opportunity. Kath working through apartments now. Smokes off Moto. Flash out as well. Lower pushing in. There's two players here to find. And she's made a lot of noise. Up on site though. Kato mode down. Lower with three. Vanadia still able to get one more, however. 4v2. Bomb going down. Needs to be a good open plant though. Do not plant behind the box this time. Nope. It's an open default plant. And then from this girl should force us to be into saving here. Their money is a bit wrecked. And even next round is going to be a little difficult. But I think Vadadia is conceding this one. So Dia, we're going to save these two guns. At the very least, Vadadia will bring a chicken into the next round as a companion. <laughs> <laughs> Just waddling companion along, buff. following her there. Yeah. He's got the FAMAS as well. And, I mean, it makes sense to save in the situation. Good job by Infamous Girls. It was just the, the bonus round there for OCD aside from the op that was purchased, but that op is going to get carried forward. And the A1S, but that's not too big of a deal um, losing that. <laughs> just beckoning the chicken over. Come here. Be my friend. But uh, first round on the board here for Infamous Girls. A nice execute on the A site, all things considered. Let's see if they can build off of that one. This was a great yeah, opening by Lower, great. though. Yeah. That was really what started it. And even the third kill, Lower did it all. Literally did it all. So, great work there by Lower. Osadia now in a rough economic situation. Not going to invest anything aside from a deagle, a couple of smokes, and a flashbang into this round. And a lot's going to rest on the shoulders of Namita here. Vadadia as well with the FAMAS. But I think the op is going to have to be the key to unlock this chest. I think it's going to have to be that focal point for us of if they want to be able to pull off this round. Kato does have a deagle in armor, though. So that can always find some damage, too. But the FAMAS, it's not the best of guns. The op is definitely what you look to, especially knowing how impactful Namita can be. Over towards the A side. It's a standard default, though, from Infamous Girls. A lot of banana control and some brackets control as well. But Amita, aggressive oh. in the bedroom to halls and puts Kat to bed. Great opening duel one. Molotov reigns through. And now if that rifle is recoverable, lower, baiting it out, looks the wrong way. Could get caught out herself. No. Jen will just grab the AK back away. What? Does not want to overextend. Wise decision. Nine times out of ten. Somebody's probably going to be watching that angle. Now B pressure's coming through. The FAMAS can really shine from this angle. I like Vedadia's patience here. It doesn't get where position on the flower pots, but can't connect on the shots. Does so much damage, but no frag. And now Camus is going to take down for Buha. So that leaves only Jen, Kato, and Namita standing on the outside, looking in all three from CT. You have to wonder if they're even going to go for this one because utility is very light. A couple of flashbangs. That is going to help a lot because Lower gets taken down, trying to come in on the flank. Namita needs to be careful because she doesn't want to lose this off. But Kato does have the AK now and Jen with the Deagle. Here they come, going for the retake. They're throwing caution to the wind. They have confidence here. And it will be Jen going down to Asuka. Andrea's got a good lineup against Namita. And now it's all up to Kato, but no dice. Andrea gets the 2K in the attempted retake from Osadia. And Infamous Girl's got two in a row here. Yeah, good strong round again. Osadia decide that they want to go for that retake, and I don't blame them. They have a little bit of money. They're going to get their full buy for the most part. Actually, no, they're going to go for a half here. They don't want to risk it. They're going to be a little economically conservative here now as uh, they did not save anything out of that last round. Although, I do understand why they wanted to go for that. They got the pick. They have the opportunity. They have the rifle. They have the armor. Jen's going to get off there by Camus. Good early start. But who has a loot? Pick up one more. The mid push uh -oh. could find another Andreas out of ammunition. Uh -oh. There's one no. down. Three down towards T-Ramp. And Kathno has to clutch it all out. There's armors with the pistol now. A vest for Vadadia and Kato. An AK for Kato and Mabuha. And now Vadadia gets cut out from behind. Kath isolating 1v1. Could win this out. But Mabuha puts her down. The aim punch will not deny her and a pistol round victory will again get a team to four to two 
This time, though, it is Osadia. And that's why sometimes, folks, you go for the armor, you go for the upgraded pistols, and you take an aggressive stance. It can work. It worked right there. And Osadia completely ripped the sails off of the mast for infamous girls. Every bit of momentum they have has to be gone. And I'm going to assume they called this timeout because that is definitely a round you want to call a timeout after. Yeah, honestly, oof, uh, all four players going down on the ramp. There should have been a response there from infamous girls against those pistols. But they just fall by the wayside. Good work. To Osadia's credit, they take that chance charging down mid to try and close the gap and gain the advantage against those rifles, and it works out quite well. So, there's that fourth on the board. That one hurts a lot for the infamous girls who had the advantage in pretty much every way into that round, and now will be relegated back to pistols. Three Tech Nines, the P250, and the Deagle coming through for infamous girls over on Osadia. Well, they got the 301S, the AK from the previous round, and Namita's got the off back in her hands. More aggression coming through from Osadia towards alt mid. Namita peeks around at Banana and hits another one. This time, Asuka going to get dropped. And Infamous Girls were trying to go for the quick play, but that will throw a wrench into their plans. And then lower, a little late to the party, as Vedadia has already made it towards underpass, and she will take down another. So a 5v3 in favor of Osadia, and they're trapped. Infamous Girls over at Banana have nowhere to go but forward. They're walking in, they're getting mowed down, utility, ops, M4s all firing away, trying to get the last couple of kills. Jen goes very aggressive, the op gets taken out, but it will be recovered by Jen or somebody else. A little bit of team damage too, I think Osadia's just getting a little too happy, a little too trigger happy now. 5-2 starting to establish a very strong CT side here on Inferno as well, starting on the defensive end on both maps. A rare luxury, and Osadia will be very grateful for that. Infamous Girls, though, they will have the op for Camus once again. AKs across the board. We'll see what they're going to be able to do with the rifles in hand. Again, aggressive mid play, though, but Camus again from T Ram. Will stonewall Jen. But Abuha out towards Altman, though, takes one out on bridge, knows there's another one lower, drops the smoke, retreats out, and brings it to a level 4v4. But the early aggression has been punished. And it gives an even scenario, even slightly advantageous to infamous girls. Oh, I like this boost onto the half wall here by Vedadia. That will catch the logs player off guard should they peek around because they have no information as to what went down. But Vedadia decides, you know what, it's a little bit too exposed up there. So she's going to fall off towards car and hold her crosshair onto the logs. We'll see if she'll get the edge. Kato is still supporting there. And yep, Benedia does hit the headshot. Great crosshair placement. And Kato can't spray down Asuka. Then lower gets Burbuja. So that's the players each isolated here on Osadia Esports. One on the A site and one over on B. It's Namita waiting here on A. We've seen how good she has been with the big green. So she can certainly hold her own. And that Molotov gets thrown for apartments so she can comfortably peek around towards truck side. Namita waits. Fires away with the no scope onto lower, looking for another target, and eventually gets overloaded by Camus. So, 1v2, Asuka extremely low at 2 HP. Camus gonna have to support here effectively. Vedadia, no utility, tries to go for it, but it's Camus indeed finding the last one, a 3k on the round. And Infamous Girls just not saying quit here on Inferno. They pick up a third. Yeah, good work there from Camus on the op, showing off why she wanted that gun so many times back on overpass. Lower going for the MAC-10 with full utility. Andrea should be following up with an AK here. We'll see what she eventually buys. Andrea? Andrea? All right, AK. No utility. <laughs> Got a little nervous there. Hope something didn't go wrong in terms of connection issues or anything like that. Asuka, though, takes a lot of damage on that early banana scrim. Tosses a nade back, but will not get quite as much in terms of vengeance lower, though another player dead from this alt mid push. Urbuha will take down the low HP Asuka as well. 4v3 to favor Osadia. Jen holding this aggressive angle down banana, creeping in towards logs. Drops down. Now will wait. Jump peeking from banana. It's Burbuha. And Namita's not giving up this aggressive angle here. Might even take a peak. Will indeed. Has to be careful from Boiler, though. Nobody holding her halls. And Infamous Girls, they're a little nervous. They look a little shaken right now. Down a player. Could definitely use 
a little more map control than they already have, especially with Banana fully in the hands of Osadia. Namita, though, can get this opening pick, can be the linchpin in the defense. The gap in the mm -hmm. smoke might even just facilitate this push. Yeah, I think it's intentionally leaving the gap there. Namita looking into the smoke, trying to spam through it. Doesn't connect on anything, though. And now the nade flies forward for infamous girls. They're trying to gain that space. Namita spamming away with the A1S. Kath gets another one here, but it's Burbuja on the flank down Banana, gaining that space and making things tougher here for infamous girls. But Kath is going to have to stand on her own in a 1v2 to try and deny this plant or hide long enough to wait for reinforcements to come. I'm so surprised they don't clear out Mini Pit. You have to clear out Mini Pit. Infamous girls will lose one, but it's Camus who manages to get the response here, makes it a 1v1. For Buha, gives away her position, and then Camus switches to the pistol to clutch it out. That will be that fourth round on the board there. But honestly, Austin, that was a misplay by Infamous girls that didn't get punished. Yeah, they're lucky Camus was able to pull that off in the 1v2. Yeah. Because, yeah, you have to clear Mini Pit. You you have to clear mini pit. It it's a such a common angle, especially if you mollied out big pit too, and there's nobody there. Clear mini pit because chances are there's somebody in one of the two spots, and they're lucky to survive that round. But that's something that could definitely come back to bite them if not in this series again, in future series down the line. It's just one of those boxes to check off on that A site. Clear big pit. Clear mini pit. Clear site. Clear graveyard stairs. Okay, you should be good to go. Just make sure you cross all of your T's and dot your I's before you make your final decisions, before you get complacent. Because Cam has definitely rescued infamous girls out of a oh, very yeah. messy situation. Rebuha. Yeah, it's peeking around here. As soon as she spots someone, she's going to toss that smoke to the ground. But the execute appears to be coming towards the A-side at least couple of players towards the A-site. Gath goes out, gets one, but only one, and the stack works out here for Osadia. They get a couple. That will trigger Infamous Girls to try and go for the quick hit towards the B-site, but as mentioned, there was Namita, wait, excuse me, Burbuja waiting there with the smoke to throw it as soon as she spots someone. She's hiding in the smoke as well. They don't realize it. They touch shoulders in that smoke, and she's going to come out and deny the bomb. Like goes right back into it. And maybe she'll be able to get another one here. The reinforcements are coming as well. Infamous girls overlooking that spot. They've lost the bomb and they're trapped at the back of site. Now they regain it, in fact, get the plant, but this might be too late. Kato drops Andrea. Only Asuka left having clutch out a 1v4, and it's just not gonna happen. Osadia on a pistol round. Take it, and they have a six under their belts. Another pistol round victory for Osadia. That's two of their six. One third of their rounds have come off pistol half by It's a good conversion rate for Osadia, but for infamous girls, it's not a stat line you want to see. It also resets them too. It's a very rough spot now for infamous girls as they have a little bit of success again. They have a glimmer of hope and it gets shut down by pistols once again from Osadia. Some great aggressive plays, that little peak in the smoke from cut. That's just... That's just perfect. You take your fight, and then you fall away, and you buy more time and cause more chaos. That is class here for most of the end. Namita tries to go aggressive with the op. Cannot find any marks, though. Has to fall away. Nades will rain through, and it's passive banana control here from infamous girls. Looking like they want to hit it, though, with the pistols in hand. Tech 9 leading the charge. That's Asuka going in. We'll get nothing, though. Namita's op covers off the rifle of other DM. Looking for another kill. Knife out has to spray away. Gets the second and the third spray. Oh, almost, almost gets another kill. Looking for a three of her own. A Zeus kill comes out from Namita. Oh, and a no. knife goes out. Back to the op. And the scope will come through. A dry peak and a shoulder shot. Wins the round for Osadi. And now they're starting to style here. A Zeus kill, an attempted knife. And a mop-up job against the pistols. Yeah, Osadia just uh, trying to put the hurt on, both in terms of the stats and uh, the psychological gameplay there against Infamous Girls going for the Zeus completely unnecessarily, of course. But hey, when you got it in your hands, why not give it a shot? And Namita does that and then finds a nice shot off shot afterwards against the pistols of Infamous Girls. But here come Infamous Girls rifles. They got to 
Four AKs and a Galil. Make it three because Namitha just takes the head clean off of Andrea. Tanay tossed on four down mid as well, and lower gets taken down to 49. So infamous girls looking to gain the space, but Osadia just not giving them any real estate for free here. Asuka leading the charge towards mid. Katos, in fact, pushed up quite aggressively into those apartments. She will be peeking forward into alt mid soon. Molotov going to get thrown. That is tough for Hamas, but she still manages to get the headshot on Kata. Kato, but now Namita's right there with the AWP, peeks around from window room and makes it the, uh, an advantage again in favor of Osadia. Jen through the smoke, connects on lower, and Kath, who just cannot evade her, leaving Asuka stranded and alone in a 4v1. 4v1 and running into the yacht, shut down by Namita. And Osadia now have the half secure at the very least and are looking to build that lead again. Very reminiscent of Overpass, John. Great yeah. for Osadia, not so great for infamous girls. And really, they're going to have to make their move now. Infamous girls are going to be on Glocks again. A Deagle, P250, and three Glocks. No utility. Sometimes that utility can make all the difference. Open up a kill, pick up a rifle, and change the name of the game. But here's some great flash work from Jen. Aligns a trio of players, and Namita will get the opener. Vanadia sprays down another. Goes for the pistol fake flash, and does a lot of damage on the cat, who's just going to be hunted into the grave. Down and under, actually. Camus will pick up another. Camus is having a good game right now. Camus is... Definitely having a very good Inferno T side. Finally shut down, though, by Jen, who will get a hat trick on the round. Or only two, actually. Still, good work there from Jen and Osadia. No fuss about that one. And infamous girls now. What could be their last full buy of this half? They're unable to, unable to convert. All right, here we go. Round... Number 14 coming on through here, Infamous Girls. As you mentioned, this could be their last full buy-up of this half. But they do have the full loss bonus, so I think that will be enough to get them back onto a buy-up in this next round either way. So we'll have to wait and see either way. Kato is going to go down 252, but Jen is right there to get one. Is traded out by Camus, who manages to open up a ton of space here towards it. In fact, Osatia doesn't have anyone else here. Namita from the apartments he gets something. Oh, gets the leg shot onto Camus, who will survive, moving on forward towards that site. And namita has got the information for his squad mates. Rubuha manages to spot out Kath, trying to hide in the cubby. And Veda Diaz gotten into Modo. Molotov's going to get thrown to... No, not Forcer out of position. It went a little too far towards Library instead. Namita... Hearing around, jumps down in towards Mini Pit, and Burbuja is just charged on board to take down Camus. Vetadia, no! Oh my goodness. She just charges in with Azu. She's got a smile on her face. She knows what she's doing. Tenth round on the board for Osadia, and when they're making plays like that, you know that the confidence is flowing. Oh yeah, and it's the second Zeus attempt for Vetadia. Actually, it's the third going back to Overpass. So, yeah. second on Inferno, third counting the overall matchup with a 33.3% success rate, John. So, not too shabby if you think about it in the overall. No? Try it three times. Yeah. It works once. Your team's up 10 to 4. Got a one map lead. Looking to put the final nail on the coffin here on Inferno. Getting an 11 to 4 half would be huge here for Osadia. Jen gets a bunch of information with that jump peak, too. That's a peak that's not necessarily for kills. It's more for just getting the information. And if there is an opportunity for a kill, you take it. Now, me though, we'll take that opportunity. Open one up onto B towards Banana. Vadaria, though. We'll be waiting for a Zeus kill, however. I don't know if Namita is going to let her go. Is going to let anyone pass to shut down on the bridge of Kaza Doom as Namita channels her in her Gandalf. And bomb recovered. A smoke <laughs> no. shot! Oh, that's disgusting, Namita. Let them have a chance. Lower decides to open something up. The bomb sits at the feet of a Zeus, and the op of Namita seems to be an impassable object. It's funny because Vedadia was waiting for the Zeus and the Mita robs her of it. And anyway, look, 52 seconds left. Camus and Lower have to try to find a way to get onto a bomb site here, and that's going to help. Lower gets her second frag of the round. 
And they know that there are a couple of players here down banana, of course, guarding the bomb that's been dropped at the feet of Osadia. So Infamous Girl's probably going to have to kill everyone just to get this bomb back. Good flashbang thrown, but not good enough. Rebuha takes down Camus, and that leaves lower standing here. But Adia again going for the Zeus, but it's going to be that means that a robber. That's 11 to 4 in favor of Osadia as we head to a break. We're back here for the second half of action. The exact same scoreline as we had an overpass in favor of Osadia as they headed to their T side. 11 to 4. And Osadia really did dominate towards the latter part of that first half as well, to the point where they were having maybe a little too much fun, Austin, right with the Zeus, but it's okay. They were they were feeling confident. And of course, it was actually Namita denying Vedadia every single opportunity to get a Zeus frag by hitting yep. it, the frags with the op, right? So, yeah. Yeah, it was a very chaotic into the half. Yeah. And it just started to get more and more off the rails on this crazy train as Osadia kept on piling on the rounds. Vadadia decided it was Zeus time. Namita decided it was shoot people through smokes with the op time. And Osadia basically decided it was time to try and finish this one off as soon as possible. 11 to 4 on the CT side is a master stroke. And now if they can finish this one off clean, 
it'll be two strong maps for Osadia against infamous girls. And even with that overpass pick coming in as a bit of a curveball to start it off, Osadia have answered the off speed pitch with a nice strong hit towards the deep outfield. And they're looking to see if it's going to go over the wall. If they'll bounce it off the wall, maybe even hit a ground rule double. Kath, though, with the opening, a second from Andrea. And maybe this T side pistol might not be too easy. Andrea runs it having munition, though, run over. And now a 3v3 post put on the A set. Wide open plant here from Kato. And they'll see if they can take advantage of it here. Osadia, one on top of Cold Box, another one tucked in behind, and one in that infamous pit position. That's about the uh, No Zeus this time, though, John. But a headshot is delivered. Oh, yeah. She's smiling. Very happy with the way she's played, as she should be, and she hits another headshot there, looking for the three-piece, but it's in fact actually looking for the four-piece because she had a 3K already, um, but that will be the round in favor of Osadia. They take a 12th in Infamous Girls, despite a strong start right on the defensive end. Uh, they just didn't have enough uh, power there, enough people on that A site in order to hold off Osadia, and then with the three... Uh, Three person retake coming through there just i mean it's very tough to retake the a site with their utility even on pistol round so namita's gonna walk on through here towards banana and osadia not wasting any time they've got the bison out in fact austin and it's actually quite effective at churning through opponents especially when they don't have armor and 64 rounds in that drum magazine as the lower goes down namita using every bit of those rounds to take down two and now we'll have to reload but she's got the edge still, and yeah, there's the 3k B site completely taken, even though that's not the hit! Osadia was going to A! And now Infamous Girls, even on their ego round, are thrown for a loop here. Only Kath left standing, and she will at least get one over on Namita. Upgrades to the Bison. But the round is going to go Osadia's way here. Uh, I'll add some... Okay, I was going to add yeah, some quotation okay. marks to upgrade there, but I'll give it as the kill comes <laughs> it's through. Still... Although... Oh no. Vada <laughs> is going for a knife there. Yeah, they're that's, just trying to get it. That's the AK, it. isn't it? I believe that's the AK now. They can get it back. That's, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say the Bison gets the next player. Maybe the... Oh, it was Galil, but still. Galil. A little over costly there for Osati. I don't think they needed to risk that much. But, you know, Vada uh, wants knives and Zeus's. So, got to give Vada what she wants. She had the headshots of the pistol round after all. All righty, Hosadia. Going to this next round now. They've got uh, an AK, two Galils, two Mac 10s, and full utility to work with over on Infamous Girl's side. They're going to have three A1Ss and A4, in fact. A holdout there on the A1S and an MP9. One A4 is down, and Vadadia gets the 2K to open up the B site completely. The defenders are gone. Infamous Girls, I, I mean, I would say, are probably on the safe here. Oh, that's a nice nade, Kobe coming through for Kath, and she gets the second one onto Jen. Okay, I take it all back. Now with those two frags, Infamous Girls can definitely go for the retake. Their utility is a little light, but the good news for them is it's the same story for Osadia. That said, Namita has been so good with pretty much anything she's had in her hands, and it's the AK this time for two headshots, and all hopes of a retake have pretty much evaporated here for the Infamous Girls. In fact, Andrea already deciding she's just going to go for exit frags. Might get one, and well, there it is as uh, Kato goes down, but the round is Osadia's. The round is Osadia's and Namita's, although Vadadia got it started with some openings of her own. Namita, though, just doesn't need an op. Namita's having a day today, though. Op kills, AK kills, it doesn't matter. She's just having a great time in the server right now. And for Osadia, they're two rounds away from getting their second win on the board here. Boy, would it be a strong one for Miss Girls are going for the save. A Deagle, actually, never mind. They're going for a little bit of a heavier investment. Kath going for the XM in full armor. D uh, P250 armor for Andrea. And lower will have the Deagle, no armor. 5-7, no armor for Asuka. So a little more coming through here from them than we've seen previously. And we'll see if the risk can actually give them anything more. I'd like to see a little more of this aggression, though. I'd like to see vests on a couple more players. Look to see some teamed aggression, maybe a flashbang or two through towards alt mid maybe a deagle peek through bedroom something to try and catch osadia off guard who they are playing very passive they're playing very disciplined expecting pistol aggression they're also using their utility as they should clearing out those little angles that can be very pesky to clear out with your rifles alone but in the end infamous girls they're turtling up 
And now as they start to get a little more antsy, this is when Namita can strike. Sprays down one, spots the second, and follows up onto Camus too. The B side is open, but the A side is the target. Big pit, mini pit, both being cleared. And on site, Andrea Goomba stomp there by Burbuja. And then it all down to Kahadasuka. 15 to four, looking very likely. Jen takes a shot in the back. Asuka will actually get one of the five seven, but Cat Sex M coming up a little too short. It's all down to her now. Might just be worth oh, not, oh, oh, not oh. the AK. Oh no. <laughs> unlucky. That's so unlucky. She can't get the AK. And uh when she went back for it, it ends up getting dropped. So that is gonna be the round 15 to 4 again in favor of Osadia for the second straight map. And well, they've got 11 opportunities to close out this series. Infamous girls, three A1Ss, two A4s, and full utility for everyone except for Kath. But uh, it's enough to be on the defensive end here. They're actually going to go for some aggression, and it works out. Asuka gets the opener, but the trade comes through, and another one. Kato and Jen racking them up. 4v3 in favor of Osadia as they go for the win right here, right now. Camus is waiting in the apartments. Might be a thorn in the side of Osadia, but this is a great spot by Namita. B-Site has been cleared out. In fact, she can call over her teammates to come and get this plant because no one is left here. This is going to be so tough for infamous, infamous girls to get back into, especially considering they only have a couple of flashes of smoke and a Molotov left to get back into this site. At least Camus can set up uh, Andrea to go for something, but man, you're going to have to have a great individ individual effort, excuse me, Austin, from one of these two. Yeah, or both, honestly. I think they're both going to need to have that sort of individual effort. They're not going to be able to do it all alone. If they can come together and make something happen, there's a chance. First kill goes the way of Camus, but she takes a lot of damage for that. Andrea now with a lot on her shoulders. Pretty much the rest of this round now. As the time ticks down, there is no kit. I don't believe there's one down on the B site either. Camus making a move. The time is too far gone. Namita spots the shadow, sprays down one. Camus trying to do what she can on 5 HP. Zeus there oh, really? by the end. And that is going to be GG. Zosadia 16-4 on both of her pass and Inferno. Knocking down infamous girls there. And a Zeus conversion rate of two out of five. So not too shabby at all. <laughs> I can't believe they finished that with the Zeus. I mean, uh, such confidence shown by Osadia there and uh, Vedadia having a lot of fun. I, I think she was having the most fun of all players there. And it reminds